The Furno inline fastening system is designed to securely hold a compatible Furno product inside a ground-based ambulance. The system is for professional use only by trained emergency medical service operators. Be sure to thoroughly review the inline fastening system user's manual before using the product. The inline fastening system, when installed and maintained properly, meets or exceeds all applicable global specifications and standards listed in the inline fastening system's user's manual. Be aware that the standards and specifications are updated periodically. Current guidelines are available directly from organizations that develop them. Contact information is listed in the user's manual. The integrity of the inline fastening system relies heavily on the installer to secure the fastening system to the ambulance in a way that meets or exceeds guidelines that are in place at the time of the installation. Also, the integrity of the fastening system relies on the user to regularly inspect and maintain the system. This video is not intended to cover the installation of the mounting blocks, mounting rail, or other means of securing the product to the vehicle floor. Installation of these items requires a skilled professional who is familiar with ambulance construction. Check with the mounting block floor system installation manual for specific information. Directions on installing the Furno mounting block floor system for stat track and inline fastening systems can be found in the mounting block floor system user's manual. The inline fastener features a release button which is located on the nose of the system. Press the button to unlock the compatible Furno product for unloading. Begin pulling the cot toward the back of the vehicle and then release the button as you continue to pull the cot from the vehicle. The safety hook is located on the nose of the fastening system. During both the loading and unloading process, the safety hook holds the compatible Furno product securely inside the vehicle while the operators raise and lower the undercarriage legs. The fastening post retainer is located on the nose of the fastening system and captures the control end post of the compatible Furno product and helps hold it in the fastening system during vehicle transport. The integrated charge system, or ICS for short, is located near the center of the fastening system. When a Furno NX is locked in the fastening system and the ICS is connected and powered, the ICS will disable powered operation of the NX and charge the NX battery. The vehicle ignition, inverter, and or outlet switch may need to be turned on to supply electrical power to the ICS. The floor lock indicator window is located at the end of the fastening system and helps verify that the fastening system is secured to the vehicle floor. The indicator window is fully red when the fastening system is properly locked to the floor. If the indicator window shows any portion of green, which means unlocked, the fastener is not properly secured to the vehicle floor. Before use, Personnel who will work with the fastening system must read and understand the inline fastening system user's manual. Appropriate skills and training are also required. Confirm that the system works properly. Confirm that the system is securely locked to the floor of the vehicle. Use only compatible Furno products. To use the inline fastening system, you must be familiar with the loading and unloading procedures of your compatible Furno product. Always engage the yellow safety hook with each safety bar on your product. During the loading process, roll the product into the fastening system until it engages the locking mechanism, which will produce an audible click. Verify the product is locked in the fastening system by attempting to roll it out of the vehicle. If the lock is engaged, the product will remain locked in the fastening system. Push the red release button to unlock the product and allow it to be removed from the fastening system. If the button is difficult to press, 
push the product away from the nose of the fastening system to free the lock mechanism. The upper fastening system is designed to be removable for cleaning. To remove the upper fastening system, use a 4 mm Allen wrench to remove the two screws and washers from the nose. Do not discard the screws or washers. Use a 6 mm Allen wrench to loosen the set screw at the end of the fastening system near the floor lock window. Use that same wrench to loosen the fastening bolt until the floor lock window changes from red, which means locked, to fully green, which means unlocked. Be aware that the ICS cable is connected to the floor outlet under the fastening system. Take care when lifting the fastening system off the floor posts. Don't stretch or damage the ICS cable. Using additional help as needed, lift the fastening system straight up and off the floor posts and set it beside the floor plate, taking care not to stretch or damage the ICS cable. Disconnect the ICS cable from the floor connector. If you are power washing the fastener, cover both ends of the ICS connector cables with a plastic bag held closed by a rubber band and follow the directions for power washing the fastener. Take care not to dislodge the four locator pins that hold the position of the safety hook and insert. Keep the pins in place during cleaning. To disinfect the inline fastening system, wipe all surfaces with disinfectant. Follow the disinfectant manufacturer's instructions for application method and contact time. Ferno recommends you inspect the fastening system for damage as you disinfect. When cleaning the inline fastening system, Hand clean all surfaces with warm water and a mild detergent. Rinse with warm, clear water. Dry the fastening system with a towel or allow it to air dry. Use caution when using pressurized water, spray wands, and similar equipment when cleaning the fastening system. Wear all safety equipment recommended by the pressure sprayer manufacturer. Remove the cot or NX from the fastening system. Make sure all power to the ICS module of the inline fastener is disabled. That means turn the vehicle engine off, turn the generator or inverter off, and disconnect the vehicle shoreline. If you have removed the upper fastening system from the floor for cleaning, cover the ends of the ICS cables with a plastic bag held closed by a rubber band. This will prevent water from entering a disconnected cable. Set the nozzle pressure at or below 3,000 PSI. Ferno recommends you use a nozzle with a wide angle spray of 25 or 40 degrees. Keep the nozzle at least 18 inches away from the fastening system at all times. Do not spray directly into the ICS contacts. Wipe the fastening system dry with a towel if desired. Allow the fastening system to dry for 10 minutes to make sure any excess water that may have penetrated the case has had a chance to drain away from it. To attach the inline fastener to the vehicle floor, first verify that the floor locator pins that hold the position of the safety hook and insert are in position. If you previously cleaned the inline, remove the rubber band and plastic bag cover from the two halves of the ICS cable. Verify that the floor lock indicator window is showing green. Connect the ICS cable to the floor connector. Monitor the position of the ICS cable as you attach the fastening system to the mounting rail. Center any excess cable in the middle of the mounting rail where it will not be kinked or damaged. Using additional help as needed, orient the upper fastening system over the mounting rail with the receiving plates over the floor posts and set the upper fastening system in place. Verify the upper fastening system is properly positioned on the mounting rail with the safety hook passing through the slot in the nose. The fastening system should be in contact with the floor. 
Use a 6 mm Allen wrench to tighten the fastening bolt. Verify the floor lock indicator window changes from green, unlocked, to fully red, locked. Use the 6 mm Allen wrench to tighten the set screw. Tighten until snug. Clean and prepare the two 4 mm nose screws by cleaning their threads and the mating threads of the safety hook mounting block with acetone or an appropriate Loctite cleaner primer and allow the threads to dry completely. Apply one drop of thread locker to the threads of the screws and install them immediately. Wipe off any excess thread locker. Use a 4 mm Allen wrench to attach the two nose screws. Tighten until snug. Resupply the ICS power source, such as inverter, generator, or shoreline, and load the NX. Verify the ICS charges the battery and disables the NX powered mode. The inline fastening system is constructed with lubrication free materials. Do not lubricate the fastening system. The inline fastening system requires regular maintenance. Set up and follow a maintenance schedule. See suggestions in the inline fastening system user's manual. Thanks for watching this Ferno training video on using the inline fastening system.